Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're out in the western suburbs of Chicago, and I'm with Jerry. Jerry, what's your last name? Jerry Cush. Jerry Cush. And I met his son, also Jerry Cush, and we did his yellow Dodge Dart. I call it the Bumblebee car, yellow with the black stripe around the tail. And uh, all original car there, but you've got some great cars and started that whole generation of your sons having cars. What's the one we're going to see today? My uh, 55 Bel Air convertible. And this one's got a few options that you usually don't have. What does it have? It's got the power pad, power steering, power brakes, four barrel, dual exhaust, power top, and factory overdrive, and three <laughs> under three. So it's got it's all rare. of the power pack options. Right. So, Jerry, one other thing. You've had this car since how long? Been about four years. And the 55 Chevy Bel Air convertible. Why this car did you need out of all the cars in the world? Well, I had one back in the 60s. I met my wife in 1963 with a 55 Chevy convert at Henry's Drive in, in the city on Belmont, Milwaukee. So this car brings back those memories with you. Oh, her. yeah, it was 53 years with the wife, May 8th. 53 years in your 55. Come on, right alongside me. <laughs> there she is. And this one is fantastic so it's not only just a 55 which the convertible and you know the first of the tri-5 chevys the 55 the 56 and the 57 but you've got some options on this one right off off the pat tell me about that bumper that's extended bumper guard on which is an option so here's the optional extended bumper guard and the thing that you see with most 55 chevys correct me if i'm wrong you've got your little chin there and things like that and the wonderful headlights the wonderful hood ornament with the jet on it. Did your car come all original? How did this happen? This one looks like it's coming directly from 1955. And I even want to show like this bumper piece here. You can see that gap in there. That usually isn't there without the extended bumper. Is that correct, Jerry? Yes. Okay. Come on with me, Jerry. We got the egg crate grill, as I understand it, taken from the Ferraris, but so where did you find this one? How did it happen? And kind of tell me a little of the story. Come on, walking right along with me. My buddy found it on the internet. We flew out to Boston and picked it up in Merrimack, New Hampshire. And then we had it delivered. So you found this in New Hampshire. And let me just get to the side so I can show people that. Have you always been a Chevy guy? All my life. All your life. Why the Chevys? I'm just, I love Chevys. You love Chevys. Look Chevys at you. are the cars. There are the cars. Look at that. Oh, it's got the optional skirts, too. The optional skirts. Right there. The Bel Air. Was this car all previously done, or did you do any restoration to it? frame off probably about 15 or 16 years ago. All the end of specs, undercarriage too. Mm -hmm. Come on, right alongside me. I want to make sure people can hear you. And then I love, like, this little detail. Look, look at it right here. How clean. What was your wife's reaction when you brought this home? She loved it. She said it brought back old memories. Is that right? <laughs> this is great. So while we're here in the trunk, you can see all the metal here. And we've got some toys for you. The factory. The jack stand. The Racing Champions Mint 55 Chevy Bel Air convertible in the same colors. Did that come in the same colors? Obviously, right? It's inside the box? Yeah. That's amazing. And who gave that to you? Oh, one of my friends, a Ford guy. A Ford guy gave a Ford that to guy you. All right. That shows you that these cars will bring people together. And then we've got the... This is actually your car in this book. That's not a car like your car. That's your car. Supposedly, yeah. And naturally, this one's an original and the original Jack inside the car. You 
show this side. Here's our tire iron. And over here. Alright, we'll shut that. And we come back here and take a look. I want to take one step back. And Jerry, share with me something unique about these exhaust tips. Okay, 55 Chevy Power Pack cars. They have their own tail tips. There's no bow tie on them or anything. Okay. You see these? That's the way they call them. That's the Power Pack tail tips. And the Power Pack, is that a four barrel option or a dual quad option? It's a four barrel. Four barrel option. That was the biggest option then. Right. Well, you see these, light it's got this the up. Original 265 engine. I always enjoyed that little piece right there. It, oh, was, yeah. it was one of those where I was like, well, we don't need to add this, but that just little touch of extra jewelry just makes it so sweet. And even as you can see these bumpers here, see how that's a separate piece that fits on there. So I want to show that from a little bit farther back, just so you can see that extra piece there. You know, there's a lot of 55 Chevys out there, but they don't look like this. Well, they have the 210, the 150s. The 150s don't have any chrome at all. The 210 just got the one bar. Okay. The Bel Air's got the whole ball of wax. The Bel Air's the high end. May I? Sure. And the door has a. Now, this is all from the factory? Or right. this is custom? No, it's all country. Right? So this smoothness here was how it was in 55? So it was in 55. I mean, we got the option tissue tray. So we can see there. There's your Chevy intact. Even this little hump right there, right? It's all factory. And this opens up that. We've got the three on the tree. You can see the word power brake. And as you sit in here, let me just give you this presentation. I'm gonna drop this back just a little. But you get this view. And by the way, you get the body by Fisher, your seat adjustment. Let me just step right here for one moment. I wanna show people that bench seat. What's your wife's name? Uh, Marilyn. So Marilyn sits right in the middle. Right next to me, like right the old days. Right next to you. Right next to you. That is great. <laughs> <laughs> 53 years is still rolling. You got it. That is tremendous. What an inspiration. I got the option. I got the tissue holder too. Let me show that tissue holder. So here's your tissue holder. And it swings out like so. And you take your tissue. Just like that. And it has a little Chevy bow tie. Now this car missing no bow ties because you start with one here you go to one there is that also your high beams when you hit the high yeah, beams the, the, bow ties, the, high beam. the bow tie lights up there and then if you look at the dash it's got the bow ties it has the bow ties there personally I thought that was the coolest feature of the 55 is all of the bow ties there's no question <laughs> what you're riding in. We've got a little upgrade there. And by the way, nicely done with the Chevy bow tie. <laughs> and then the Bel Air, your speaker. Is there any options this car is missing? Because it doesn't look like it. No, not really. Okay, this car is all optioned. You have your lights. I'm sorry, your lighter. I had the right idea because that was on this side where it says lights, your windshield wipers, your start on and off. All of your now is this a choke? No, that's the overdrive. The overdrive. Right, tell tell me that about that. About 35, 40, you just push it in the car free wheels or an overdrive. Or you can stop and put it in overdrive. And where's the, you said you had a power top, where's the top button? Right here. Okay, got it. So you pull that and the top comes in. Yeah. All right, let's take a look under the hood before we start it up and pull your top down. 
we're going to start it under the hood and then we're, we're going to take a look under the hood and start it and then we'll pull the top down. And that's how it was done in 55. Now right off the bat, I'm seeing this addition. Is this your power steering? Yes, it rides off the, off the generator. So the generator's here. It turns, it turns the power steering pump. Connected here. Go ahead. In the four barrels on here, this is a oil canister original. And then your power brakes. Power brakes. How many 55s do you see with power brakes? Not a lot. I was, I was. Go ahead. Everything was an option back then. Yeah, I don't remember seeing that on any 55 I've ever seen. That was so cool when you pull that out. You get the vacuum canister for the power brakes there. It's an original. Right here. Yeah. Okay, so the original. And what does that do? That just feeds the air into the brakes. Okay, so I see that. It's got all the original GM hoses with the original hose clamps. Original hose clamps. How long did it, you know, you're looking for a 55, and you're looking for the right one that's all original. Now, I see a lot of cars, and I don't see many that are like this. How long does it take you to search for one of these? Oh, a long time. Especially with three on the column. Three on the three was very hard. Wow. So you were using power glides. What a treat. Let's fire it up, shall we? We'll let it idle, and then we'll give it a little rev. Alright. Yeah, I know, we just put it on the... Yeah, I know. I disconnect them all. Go ahead, try it. Alright, we'll tighten it up. What I wanted to do before, if I wanted to clean that one terminal off. We'll, we'll tighten it up and it'll start right no, up. No, I wanted to clean this terminal off. It's kind of corroded from sitting. It's corroded. None of them been out yet this year. Yeah, no, this is the first time this is coming out. And nobody's videoed this car, right? No. <laughs> we'll wait. <laughs> there we go. That's a Chevy product for you. Is that smooth? Oh my goodness. Let me just listen to it idle for a minute. Oh, oh music. Give me a little rev, please. I was not expecting that. Jerry, one more time. <laughs> 65 power. That is pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. All right, let's take the top down, shall we? Show me how this happens. But I gotta sit the window down. All right, we'll take our time. There's no rush. So we're zipping the top. I can lay the boot on. Yeah, that's fine. So we put a, is it a glass window? No, plastic. Oh, plastic, okay. So it's got a zip around there. While you're doing that, I'm gonna get a little more of this music. See, it hasn't even started all yet. I'm getting the water out of it. And the back window sits in there like so.
Do we need to roll down windows? Okay, I'll help you with that. It's better with the top down to roll down easily. Look at how that window goes back. Like so. Okay. I like how that goes down like that. And then you just unloosening the top. Yeah, go ahead. He's telling me to make sure I don't get run over. <laughs> I'm in the middle of the street. Yeah, go ahead. You guys put the boot on. Go ahead, Jerry. Help him, please. I'm going to keep showing... I'm just curious, your windshield has a blue tint. Is that uh, that is tinted glass an option? Yeah, beautiful. And of course it matches the car. Yeah, it's tinted glass. It's another option. What's the reaction when you're driving this car? What's the reaction when you're driving this car? Thumbs up everywhere I go. Everybody loves it. They love it. Is there anybody who I mean they just heck what could you say? This is just the perfect American car. It is. It's the perfect American car. Let me I've looked a long time for it. Let me show that from the back now with, with no top. <laughs> and you can see it starting for the first time this year. I want to show that one more time from the side. Jerry, can we take this for a quick spin around the block? Let's do it. Let, let's, let's just keep the camera rolling. And let's take it for one quick spin around the block. Yeah, we'll put that one there. So here's your three in the tree. The power steering. Yeah, and the power steering. No problem turning. No. It's got that Chevy white. Yeah. Is 
this wonderful? Oh, I don't know if he's got it. And it is unbelievably comfortable. Nice. And the seats, right? The seats are comfortable. Oh, yeah. Spend the factory specs on the knee, too. And the rumble sounds great with this power pack. Rides good, huh? It rides fantastic. favorite this stop sign I'm gonna jump out I'm gonna get just a little bit ahead of you and I just want to see this car drive by and then that's how I'll okay I'll, I'll, I'll stop the my car store and you'll come back and make sure you come back and pick me up though I'll just <laughs> <turn around. laughs> all right let me let me get a little bit ahead of you I just want to see this one coming by us If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, you can see all the cars. Thanks for being on my car story.